Welcome back to another podcast, uh, the Gentleman Cabal Podcast, to be exact. Episode nine and a half. I know we don't really want to count that first one, but that motherfucker happened. And if we're not counting that one, we're not counting the one we're talking about shit and letting people piss on this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good. That, that was, was a, good a episode. rough episode. I, I had a hard I time to, listening to that one. I, I enjoyed that know. episode. I, I, I enjoyed it too. It, you both, you motherfuckers, are the only ones that enjoyed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. <laughs> in this view, I want you to know. In this view, and in the worldly view, y'all are only two that was like, "Yo, fuck it, this episode is it." Yeah, yeah. Hey, you be you be so you be surprised how many motherfuckers would like to hear that shit. I'm I don't know a lot of them. But anyway, we're going we gonna to move on from that. We're going to talk about weed. I, yeah, I can't see it, so it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, we kind of we switched up the formula, so we you know, uh, do a little differently. Wait, this is, I thought this is basic formula. You know, we start off with, oh, I Absolutely. guess now we all doing little we're, we're doing a We're doing a review episode, essentially. Okay. You know? That makes sense. All right, so the only thing that I'm, I'm going to start my review off with is the weather and i was going to start it off to be honest but uh my phone is going through an update right now so you know I mean, but, you need to start outside yeah but you, you could i mean that that's why we we selected you as the weatherman you know you uh you don't you don't rely Chanel, on give us your i don't care what the app on the weather phone says give us your opinion of the weather all right look we're going outside we're gonna see what's up all i know is make sure you take make sure you taste out there you need a sweater. Let us know if you taste snow or I got I got the sweater on my head. Hold on, hold on. You feel me? It's a little if you take it too much of a deep breath, your nostrils gonna burn. That's how cold it is outside. I feel like if you don't understand that, where the fuck was you at? Uh we gonna move on. <laughs> we're gonna move on. And anyway, like I said, we're talking about buzz today. Hmm, what's this one? Want to smell? <laughs> <laughs> this right Elevate. here. Hold on. All right, listen. <laughs> I got the we. It's all on the app, so I forgot what this one. This one I think is um 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 uh cherry juice, juicy. It's like unic- unicorn kisses. Ju- it's like juicy fruit. It's two. It's two different ones. It's like J- Jack Herrera. All right, look, Jack Herrera and Juicy Fruit. Boom, got it. All I had to do was let it tap the third eye, and it came back to me. I got another one. Hold on. So that's that. All right. So I said Juicy Fruit is Juicy Jack. Uh, this one right here, uh, uh, White Skunk. You want to smell it? Let me smell it. When first. he went off camera, he was reading <laughs> original containers. Oh, this is what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> original containers <laughs> look this is it that's a ra- he's recycling from the kitchen this is in roasted peppers <laughs> i got this from the 99 cent store in new Paltz. come on we got it. <laughs> there's no original my red container. pepper marmalade jar come on i got all types of look look sir kensington what did you know about sir kensington mustard uh ain't no bud in this one but this is for the next round <laughs> anyway what i all right so uh, this is that. This is the white skunk, and uh, this is it got a little piney smell to it. I believe that I didn't get tired like that, so I think it's sativa. It gave you a body high or a head high. It's it's more of a of a body, which I do think is sativa because this is what keeps me up at night. Uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny if I am on job premises because it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> what does matter is this motherfucker keep me up. Anyway, we come over to the Juicy Jack. Look, I'm on child. This is for my crude purposes only. Everybody out there, just know that I'm holding it in my hand. And this shit is kind of nice, though. It's a little take, sticky. Take a bite out of it. You want me to waste shit on camera? I'm good. <laughs> you still, you still going to get high. No. Well, your Shamel no is destined no for like proof. reality, like a reality show. Jamel. Do either one of those make you horny? Uh, does it make you horny, baby? Uh, I'm going to go with the, the Nano on this one. Uh, <laughs> Neither have, one of them make you get you randy? I, I listen, I can confirm that when, when I used to smoke weed, I never got horny from smoking. What? That was, that was, never, that was never a thing. For me. I can't say that it's an aphrodisiac for me either. Um... 
Uh, but you know, we does help you introspect more, and maybe you yourself are a horny motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like Aaron smoking and then just feeling himself, like you know, you know the consciousness. <laughs> the weed brings it forward. Is like, yo, whatever you are inside is gonna bring it out. So when you was hitting them, you was like, yo, I'm trying to hit something. But uh, you never, you never, you never pump one out when you're high. Uh, Isn't it better? <laughs> Tell me, it's not better pumping one out when you're stoned off your this face. Is every everything, I can't take a shit. <laughs> because it calms my stomach down it is again depending on what it is <laughs> this body high if i have to go to the bathroom i don't give a fuck if i'm about the next step i'm gonna shit on myself <laughs> i'm gonna smoke something first so i mean again i don't want to confirm nor deny that sounds like a pause scenario for you shamel like if you're enjoy taking a shit i could see you sitting it like having that realization like oh no i'm shitting but i like it and then being like pause no 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 because that's going out it's an exit it's, it's an exit sensation only. the sensation of the booty it's just nah. backwards that's a stretch you got to pull that pause back <laughs> because <laughs> now you're stretching it right now you're stretching it we can't i can't give it's not plausible plausible it's, it's it got to be plausible uh um um, all right. All right. I think my section is coming to a dead end because I'm all out of buds. Out of the two, uh, which one, I know you said the one gave you kind of a body high. Mm, uh, mm. Of the two, which one did you prefer over the other? Mm, mm. Do you do you prefer the body high over the head high? Honestly, honestly, yeah, yeah. I do prefer the body high because I'm a, I'm a weirdo and like, you know, like when you get the flu and you get sick and, you know, some people feel like they can't move. That's when I do the absolute most. That's when I'll start exercising. That's when I'll, I feel like I can fast. I feel like I can do a lot when my body feels like it's telling me not to. So that body high and it makes me want to, you know, relax. Which is very opposite from everyone else because usually if you get the head high, you want to actually do something. Okay. Uh I guess I am the opposite. I don't know. Uh, when I get a head high, that shit goes directly to my eyes. And if my eyes aren't functioning, I'm not trying to function. Over. I have Over. been known to fall asleep wherever, whenever. And <laughs> it's a fact. It is a part of life. Well, and fully accept it. So, so Shamar, when was, when was the last time like you got stuck? Well, because I've had, like, I think I had, like, whatever the weed sickness is. Uh, it doesn't really, oh, well, I guess there was that high school was, I think all of the, the wildest, dumbest shit for everything. That was everything. Uh, there was a time where we just learned of the hookah and we was like, fuck putting tobacco in it. Let's put weed in it. And I was high for a whole weekend, a whole like a real, like whatever. I never had a hangover. So I feel like whatever that would be besides like, you know, like headaches, I was. Oh, so I, you, you had the weed equivalent to a hangover. Yeah, I was, uh, I was high. I didn't have to smoke anything, but I still felt the effects the whole weekend from Friday to Monday, going back to school. Is, is there a name for that? I used some type of sickness. I, I used to call it. I used to call it getting burnt. Uh, I used to say it's getting burnt. Like if I had a, 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 if I went real hard on a weekend and Monday I was just like fuzzed out. You know, I called it getting burnt. Well, yeah, but but was your burnt just on weed? Well, yes. At the time, yes. Obviously, later, you know, there were way uh, many other circumstances involved. But when I was fucking seventeen. <laughs> Yeah, it was just weed, and I was, and but there was a lot of it, you know. I didn't do it too often. I think all my burnt phases were different, uh, different years, different. You know, I had one time before school, so it was like six in the morning. We had like I might have had like six bong hits, and uh, I don't remember how I got to school, but I made it there. And uh, that was that. I think that was the last time that I really had any crazy, stupid 
<laughs> I never I never went to school high. I I know for a fact if I started smoking before school, my ass just ain't going to school. Oh nah, I like the, the social network aspect of school and there was but, nothing that was gonna get me to miss that out. Besides. I've definitely I've definitely like went to school like still feeling fucking drunk and shit. We drank at school. We had slushies at the school and we used to pour uh vodka and stuff in them. That shit was school was it was pretty fun. And not I remember safe. I remember getting smoking blunts and then going to a basketball game at, at Ketchum High School and sitting there in the stands and turning to my buddy and being like, yo, how the fuck did we get here? And he looked at me and was like, you drove us here. But I couldn't remember because I was that high. I remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, sir. <laughs> yeah. I would have found another ride home for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did not remember driving there at all. Did, did that, like, sober up your friends at all? Or did it sober you up at all? What? Like, when you came to that realization? No, I was stoned all the way through the game, and then we smoked more after, you know? But, like, you weren't like, wait, I didn't remember any of that, right? No. And that's, you know, and that's I mean, yeah, I thought proof. about it, like, wow, that's crazy. Uh-huh. Let's smoke more. Yeah, and that's yeah. one difference between, like, uh, like, being high and being drunk. Like, you could throw up. And you won't be drunk no more, depending on how much right. you, you can't up. get. You can't get that out of you. Like something has to really fucked up happen for your high to go away. It depends on what you mean. Like you know, if you fucking blow down a gram of coke, you're not high on weed oh, anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not the high I'm referring to. You know I'm, I mean? I'm pretty sure that's not going away. You're gonna. You're still to high. It's just different now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that that high you have to fucking deal with. That ain't going away. What was uh, in that in the Wolf of Wall Street movie? What what was he on when he was going to the Lamborghini and it finally hit? They were these these quaaludes, these very special quaaludes back in the day, the lemons. And the reason it hit him so hard is because they were like a couple years old. They had expired. So the effects were delayed, and that's why it wasn't this gradual decline into just falling down on yourself. That's why it hit them the way it did. Oh, okay. You know, but they were quaaludes. They don't even make quaaludes anymore. Like, you know, what the hell was it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I know I some old. I know some older like guys. That, that would, yep. Yeah, like you'll just throw. Yeah, that now that's just in you. Done. Now you're dealing with that for a yeah. while. No, probably a couple of hours. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Old, I know some old timers that you know used to do that shit, and they were buying pills like that for fucking twenty five cents. You know, back when they were, and everybody could get them. Like being on a ride that you can't get off of. Like, no, you ride this roller coaster for two hours. Yeah, how about taking two hits of acid, and now you just have to deal with that for I don't know eight, ten hours. What was that like scarier? Error experience in that. Well, it depends. Where you, you, know? you, you, you talking to us there? We know nothing about that. Oh, well, I never had a bad. Uh, I never had a bad experience, and I never maybe got to a point should, where I said I don't want to feel wanna, this. I want to do psychedelics anymore. Just, you know, but that's that. You got to be prepared to take that ride. Like, if I'm going to do this, there could be at least six hours of of a of a situation. Yeah, coming. You know. I'm 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 fully aware. I wanna. I've already spoken to Jenna about it. I need to be around people that I really fuck with. And uh, and all honesty, the regular living arrangement, just like being around Jenna and maybe her family, is not it. Because I'll probably have a bad trip. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you generally don't want to trip with your girlfriend or your your living partner. You know, really. Yeah. That's no, because it's real easy on acid for you to look at them and be like, yo, I fucking hate you. Well, I wouldn't say, I don't know about the living partner, because again, if you guys are cool like that, if you don't like, I already know that <laughs> there are times where I don't fuck with Jenna. I had a, <laughs> through, through like the, through the, through the heaviest time of my, of my using psychedelics, I had a very, very solid relationship, you know, but I never did it. We never I never heard she was never around. Never took you know. We never did she never did it. it wasn't her cup of tea, uh, but uh, um but when I did she would she either she didn't want to be around or I was like, Look, you can't be here for this. I don't know, you know, not I might not want to look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's serious. Uh, Jamal, do you would you consider yourself a hippie? No. No? 
I think there are a lot of hippie views that I uh, agree with, but to be full hippie, probably not. Like what? Like what? What do you think is like full hippie? Full hippie is full uh, pacifist, full on uh, whatever the experience is, regardless of what it is. You gotta accept it for what it is. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but. The actual term hippie was started with uh, Vietnam protesters, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's I where that came from. I believe so. I think it was that, that generation of really anti-establish, uh, anti-establishment. <laughs> he said that was that skunk. Which one did it to you just now? Which one did it to you? I didn't even hit nothing today yet, oh, okay. to be honest with you. I had some beer last night, and that shit uh, it didn't agree with me. I think I'm about it's to just rare. rest. You don't drink as much, huh? <sighs> I really don't. I'm about to toast these, though. I'm not going to lie. But uh, what was your last talking about? Hippie. Edit that oh, out. Wait, let me, let me look it up. First. Let, me, let me see <laughs> what Edit that is. out. Steph just had it up. Hippie. Uh, the word hippie came from hipster and was used to describe beatniks who moved into New York City's Greenwich Village. Uh, San Francisco's Eight Ashbury District, Eight Ashbury, Chicago's old town community. All right, so this is you know regular definition, uh, especially in the sixties. A person of unconventional appearance. All right, this is like basic. I guess at the end of the day, <laughs> that's kind of. I mean, but my hair is short. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm not going to, I don't disagree with all the conventional stuff. Just a majority of it is. I, see, I never, I never considered you a hippie, but what sealed it for me was when we, when we went out shooting and you had your fucking blood, <laughs> you took that shit and you was like, thank you. And just threw that shit on the floor. <laughs> Wait, what was it? That's heavy dire. <laughs> he kissed his roach goodbye. No, no, it was it was a, it was an extra uh, extra Dutch that he didn't need. Ah, uh. <laughs> no, because I I wasted money. You <laughs> gave that shit a kiss. He was like, "Thank you." It just <laughs> there there are certain certain aspects of that oneness that I agree with. Again, wasting natural things is if it's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I could have used that little tobacco wrap for something else, but I decided not to. I decided to kill it. It's funny. It makes me think right. of Native Americans. Natural, you, you, you know, you, you freed it. It, it, just, it rolled around somewhere. I know, released it. That's right. I released it. To it the earth. wasn't used for its intended purpose. You freed it from What I did was performing. that kiss which you saw was a prayer, and I was just letting it know, hey, I appreciate you being here, but I don't really need it like that. <laughs> Or hey, it's I'm like, like it's whether, like whether, I, whether it was a prayer or something romantic, I don't really care. I was wasn't it a I was just saying it do be for a loop. That's cool. <laughs> it's like an avatar when they kill the fucking thing, and they have to pray to fucking uh, Awa, thanking Awa for the. You know what I mean? You there's that movie um, when they're speaking on the movie about the bush people and they killed the deer and they prayed before it. They like really killed it because they was about to eat it. It's, just, it's the same not a basic concept of praying for your food, you know, before you eat it. You know, same thing. Yeah. All right, well, speaking getting, of food. You know, kiss it goodbye. Speaking oh. of food, is that a segue? You want to, uh, oh, you, you know what it is? Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. All right, so, I mean, you guys know, maybe you don't, but anybody new listening might not know. I'm a big fan of cereals. Um. I'd go so far as to call myself a cereal connoisseur. Okay, I can be super snooty. And don't let them change the design of the box on them. No, yeah, he will flip out, flip, flip my lid. But um, huge on cereals, uh, from the cereal itself to the size bowl that I use. Okay, and spoon. Spoon has to have like a nice little weight to it. You know, it has to have a nice, you know, scoop. <laughs> What would you call that? Scoop ratio? I don't know, but it's... You, you know, need to get a good cereal to milk ratio on there? It's... it's Yes, it that's crucial. That's crucial. So, what I'm going to... Now, let me ask you, are you a cereal first or a milk first? Cereal first. Cereal I had first. to look up because 
I really don't understand the other. I don't understand it, but you can. Me get, neither. But apparently, that's a that's a big thing, man. It you, it I, does it, because for me, I put it in first, and then I'll pour the milk on one side, like one side, so it goes down and under. It doesn't splash up and sog up any of the ones at the top. <laughs> <It's weird. laughs> I'm telling you, I am. You say so he got this shit down, down to a down. science, and, and then said, I'm like I pat science. down about maybe a quarter of the bowl on one side, and I just like start eating from that slowly at a slight tilt to keep the cereal on the other side from getting ridiculously soggy throughout throughout the whole. Thing. Yeah, you that's know, looking at me weird, weird because it's weird to hear what I of of normal I of like neurotypical people's ticks. That is clearly <laughs> it's a tick, but it's so crazy to hear. I got to eat my cereal at an angle, right. and only one side of that bitch was wet. <laughs> I slowly, as, said, no. as I'm starting to like run out of space, I, I can slide that fresh cereal down into the remaining milk as you're getting. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm, it's, yes. Yep. Hey, you keep it. You keep it going. I'm gonna I keep can, praying man. to the shit I throw away. And you, <laughs> so <laughs> you, Steph's you gonna assist mold. me on this one. We're gonna taste test two cereals that I've never eaten before. Well, I mean the brand cereal, whatever itself, but um, new flavor. Oh, well, the first one we're gonna try is cookies and cream crispies. So it's a rice crispy derivative. Yes, correct. Okay, that's cool. We're going to try. I don't know about that one. As we know, hey. before we get into it, uh, Rice Krispies tend to get soggy very quickly. So this is where that the is milk cool. and cereal ratio would, would come in handy. John, is it clusters or are they. Um, no, they're is not each crispy clusters. like a thing? I, I was hoping for them to be clustered, but. No. Right. Steph said it smells weird. What does it smell like? Now, let me ask you are you going to add sugar? No, absolutely not. I'm gonna eat the cereal uh, out of the box. I was in, it was intended to be eaten. Yeah, that's not out. that's not the same way to eat. Everybody knows. See, if if I was eating just Krispies. regular rice uh, rice krispies, you'd add maybe a little, uh, maybe half a spoon of sugar across it. But these right, right, right. these were in uh, half a spoon. I, no, no, no I give you that one. It's a whole spoon. So. <laughs> maybe I give you that one because it is cookies and cream. Exactly. So I'm not going to do you like that. Infused, right. infused, infused, infused. If it was um, regular, you better well, yeah. well, you got to try a regular first just to see how it is. Chamel might have to add sugar uh, later. To eat this one, too. So, hold on, let me pour it. Cookies and cream crispies. Oh, oh, no. Steph, don't hey, don't touch that milk, Steph. He just, he just talked about how precise he is about pouring his milk. Oh, wow. Dry is pretty good. You try some? I like it. All right. Move the cereal in. Spoon. Try this. One bite. Everybody knows the rule. Uh, <laughs> supposed to cosign. Them. Trying this with whole milk. Could you possibly eat cereal with anything but whole milk? I find that uh, gross. Um, um, the lowest I've gone. Man, 40%. I have to do that at work, and it is. It, it is I, I try to block it out because all they have is like, like two percent right. fat-free skim milk type. Oh, it's horrible. So look, you remember on Friday when he said, "Man, put some water on that shit, boy." That's pretty much what I'm doing. All right, look, look. So one day, I put some water on that shit, boy, <laughs> and that bitch was gross. It was gross. <laughs> yeah. I threw it out immediately. <laughs> I gave it two bites. I prayed to it, <laughs> and that bitch was outside <laughs> in the grass. It was gone. It had to be. It had to be disposed of. Nice. Oh my it, had to be, it had to be. I don't know. You know what it was? What I, what made it worse? I think it was like Reese's Puffs. So it was chocolate. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's all <laughs> chocolate water. <laughs> that's all bad. It might as well be a shit water because it got up out of there real quick. <laughs> I remember in military school there was a there was a few mornings where they would run out of milk. There would be no milk on campus. And some people didn't like whatever breakfast was, so there was always a cereal selection of the little single-serving little cereal packet things, and you could get that and a little carton of milk. You were good, but they didn't have any milk. And this fucking kid, his name was Dan Acosta. I'll never forget. He grabbed the apple juice and an apple jacks, and he goes, fuck it, I'm going to do that. And I sat I washed. I was sitting there with my eggs and bacon, 
because I never, you know, and I was watching him eat apple jacks in apple juice. Okay. How, and Lou, and Lou, you can answer this too. Have, have you ever struggled and you, you had no milk, but you had coffee creamer? No. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to try it. Nope. Or maybe I, uh, like some half and half. To the immediate. I won't, I won't disrespect. Half and half, no. I will not disrespect cereal that way. Can't. I had I had I had to one time and it was it was it was disgusting. You want to hear something I did one time? You know those little bite muffins? Mhm. Oh, those like I think ones. I think Hostess makes them now, the little yep. bite mu- muffins, right? So I had a box like the big package and then inside the big package were the little individual little baggies of like five or six of them and uh it was the crumb muffin, the crumb or whatever those were with like the cinnamon sugar situation i took i don't know probably 12 of those little bite ones put them in a bowl and then put fucking it was some sort of coffee creamer like uh i think it was cold stone sweet cream ice cream coffee creamer and fucking doused them in that so they were like saturated in the sweet cream coffee creamer and then with a spoon would like almost like i made like this juicy crumb muffin cake bowl how was that? It was delicious. <laughs> it, was delicious. Well, it, it sounds interesting. Definitely. So, uh, how how was that, Lou? This one, um, I, I'm I'm feeling it. How far into it are you? And how soggy has some of it gotten? I'll let you oh, he talk, he I'll let you talk about, about that one. Look, I was about to he say this is why he was so quiet because he had to eat that shit before it sogged up, and he had a bad review. <laughs> Definitely got soggy really quick. Yeah, mm. but look, what's up here? Sliding into it's, it's, it's a fresh bite every time. That's a it's a fresh bite. That's a that's a basic that is a basic uh, rice crispy flour. We acknowledge it. Uh, if you don't want to uh, add that into your review, that's fine. No, it's um, it's actually pretty good. If I had to rate it uh, out of a five, I'd say it's a solid three and a half. No way. Yes. Because Wait, you know, think oh. about it, it improves the rice, the regular rice crispy like recipe on its own. So then, an average cereal, it improves what would it. be a five? What would be your typical five? I was all right. So look, wait. I was just going to ask that. Like what is five. your give like a base? Yeah. Five. What, what is your like? And then the best cereal the on your scale. The worst cereal is Cheerios. I was going to ask, what's your top three? Uh, Cheerios is the worst. Cheerios is it, there's no flavor to it. No, now honey nut Cheerios, that's a that's a four and a half. That's a four and a half, all day long. Four and a half, that's it. You know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It smells like that should be a four. Um, so my, see, and this is tough. <laughs> one of my, I'll give you one of one of my tops. Is so where's so where's Captain? Captain Crunch is, is top five. Wait, so where's Golden Grams? Golden Grams is definitely top two, top two or three. Um, feel you, feel you. But yeah, it, it, they just re-released right now the retro recipe. So I know mm-hmm. they kind of like got a little smaller and they kind of soggied up a little faster currently. But low, the- low key, Golden Grams get soggy pretty quick though too. It does, and that's that's I think where I trained for my method of the uh, you know the milk separation there. You trained for this? I trained for this. So yeah, I give that one a, a three point five. How about you, Seth? I don't think it deserves a three point five. Yeah, it's better than regular. I think it's two. Okay. But well, you what made I think it if you made like a rice crispy treat out of it, it would be a solid four. But we're not. We're eating cereal. Yeah, so then it's definitely not a three. Definitely right. a three. Right. You're and you're entitled to that. Um we'll move on. do you recommend it? Would you recommend it? Mm, probably not. I think like Aaron said before, if it definitely had the clusters in it, it would probably taste better. Oh yeah, no doubt. If it had the cluster, if it was the rice crispy treat cereal that was cookies and cream flavored, all day long it had a five. All day long. Let's not spend too much time on cereal. Our next one I picked is a frosted mini wheats cinnamon roll. Mmm. Uh, so I've had those. All right. What do you think? What did What did you think? They're good, but I wouldn't put them like in my top five. Well, just dry smell is very good. It has a nice smell. What I'm hoping is the inside, I, I mean, shredded 
shredded mini wheat doesn't get soggy pretty fast. Um, but I'm hoping there's like a little cinnamon toast crunch feel to it. I've come to the realization that uh, just because it says cinnamon and crunch, majority yeah. of things don't taste like cinnamon toast crunch whatsoever. Mm. Majority. So of dry. Them. It's exactly what I expected. You get the texture and the crunch and all that of the regular mini wheat. It's got a little cinnamon. It's not overpowering, which is good. And I'm going to try it with milk. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I like the milk. It literally soaks the milk up. And I bit into it. And it just is like like a gusher. Oh, my God. That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, is that's, it? that's the part I don't like. No. Because as everyone knows, I am not a big fan of milk. Oh, man. So I put, I put as less milk as possible when I eat cereal. You know, I'm not a big fan of milk. Or, well, now I don't drink uh, cow animal milk in general. But uh, when it came to cereal, I'd drink the fuck out of some milk. <laughs> it's, almost like, it's almost like it wasn't the same. I, like, I, I know it was the same. But because it got that cereal taste, again, depending on what the cereal was, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Golden Grahams, uh, Reese's Puffs, something like that. Milk, it was different. It was a different entity. Wow. But milk in the jug? Get that shit away from me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so there's some things I don't like about it. Um, it got soggy faster than I, I thought it would. What size are the Wheaties? Oh, they're a good size. They're really good. They're size. decent size? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really good size. It's, it's kind of sad that they got really soggy. It's not as good. Mm. And all the frosting, just dis- it just disappeared in the milk. You know what? Maybe the milk will taste bomb. So, I bet that milk's going to taste good, though. No, it didn't sweeten it up or anything. All right. So I had to rate this one. Um, give it about a, a one and a half. I think the sugar definitely fell right off of it. It didn't have much flavor. It, it kind of just makes it, like, super dry. It had more flavor when you ate it dry. Cause of, yeah, the mini wheat, and then it's got, like, the cinnamon inside. Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan of I mean, I won't let cereal waste, so I'll have to up it out do a few more. But so yeah, one and a half. Would you give it? Probably like a two point three. Two point three? Maybe. Right. Only because I like mini wheat. Like yeah. And I'm like BJ too, where I don't like a lot of milk. Yeah, and the fact that that shit gushes in your mouth, it's for someone who don't like milk. The first, the, that's, my that's favorite a, bite. Oh. My favorite bite was the first. Everything after that was terrible. Anyway. So uh, all right. So while you're while you're finishing that, yeah, go ahead. While, uh, Aaron and Shamel, what is what is your top two cereal all time? All time top two. Yeah, that's tough. Um, I'm gonna start with the Reese's Reese's Puffs. I don't know. That's always been since I'm a kid. That's always kind of been number one. And number two, I have to say, and I feel like I don't know if they make it anymore or if you can only get it at certain places. But number two for me is Rice Krispie Treats cereal, which was like a do. broken up cluster. Like it, that's why I asked if it was clusters, you know, because yep. they they had those. And for some reason, I, I could eat a whole fucking box of that, you know. <laughs> it was so good. Those are my top two. Jamel? Okay. Hold on, Aaron. Do you, do you have something at number three that could make top two? A close like like two like two and three is very close or that's your definitive number nah, two? Uh, those are pretty definitive for me those two you know oh. yeah i like that swinging door aspect because i i do have you know the top three but i probably got so i'm i'm fucking with rice reese's pieces this is puffs uh cinnamon toast is one reese's puffs is two honeycombs is three but I do like Golden Grams as a, uh, you know, that uh, okay. that's special. So, number one for me, and not a lot of people talk about it. I don't know if I'm just fucking weird and I like it, but um, French Toast Crunch. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that's good. My absolute favorite fucking that's, cereal. That's top five. And then number, number two and three, because I can interchange them, mm-hmm. is... Captain Crunch, but like just the berries. Uh, oops, oh, just okay. berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and and fruity pebbles. For some reason, man, fruity I just, pebbles, I just love good. me some fucking fruity pebbles. No. Fruity pebbles is another one that is like fruity pebbles and golden cocoa green. Pebbles. If I'm feeling special, I'll pick one of those two up. But other than that, those other three are almost automatic. Today, I do have Reese's Buffs. Yeah, and I I currently have Crunch Berries in my house. I don't. I'm not a big cereal eater anymore. You know, um, but my son likes it. And his favorite right now is Crunch Berries, not the Just Berries. He likes the Captain Crunch cereal, too. Mackenzie's favorite cereal is uh, uh, Raisin Bran. Yeah, let me tell you about Raisin Bran. And Raisin Bran Crunch? The ones with the cl- – yes, the Sleepers. Yep. Sleepers. Yep. Yo. Sleepers, man. They don't, they don't, get, enough, they don't get enough do. Shabuck, I'll pick this up. I'll pick this up. I'll well pick they this don't. up. But look, this is what I'm talking about. You see that cinnamon and crunch? Look, I I, I literally skim past all this. I skim past raisin bread. I don't give a fuck. I should say <laughs> organic cinnamon crunch. I was like, yo, got to try it. I don't give a fuck what else is in the name. Got to try it. But when I tell you that shit is pure <laughs> raisin bread, when, when cinnamon is small up there, it's because it's a small amount in that motherfucking box. <laughs> that's because that's that's when they was making it, they was like this. <laughs> they literally they salt made it. <laughs> they literally just sprinkled some cinnamon on top and they said just, oh. just enough to where they could put it on the box. <laughs> <laughs> just enough. Yeah, they they got me. I didn't spend that's what three and some change. They got me. I'm and that's a, and, and yo, let me tell you, and I don't really keep cereal in my house like that no more because my stepdaughter fucking like devours the shit. And I mean like family size. And I'm trying to convey to her like times is different, bro. Cereal is almost five dollars a box, depending on what cereal and where you at. Uh, and and m- milk is expensive too. You know what I mean? Like you can't go through a whole family size of fucking cereal in, in less than twenty four hours, bro. Well, you can do that. You Challenge accepted. Realize. With the <laughs> give me an hour child's appetite, with the child's appetite <laughs> with the child well, I know you can <laughs> and the and the drug induced appetite I don't give a fuck <laughs> look I don't give a fuck if it's a large size family size this is half and what? this is three balls yeah. in one night oh absolutely I don't give a fuck well, you see I, I give fuck. recently just what started eating Reese uh, Reese's puffs um Steph got me onto them but yeah I can make a I can make a box stretch. They're, it's no. heavy. They put a lot in there. No, not stress. I'm talking about killing it. I killed half that box of cereal <laughs> and my first night of bringing it home. Uh, I'm with your daughter, man. If a nigga's hungry, I'm running through three <laughs> bowls. Of- yeah, but let, okay, but let me. Okay, so let me ask you though. Could you have done that at 12 years old? I killed bags of chips at 12. So this is why cereal was. But yeah, safe. bags and bags Dude. of chips is different though. No, it's Dude, not. I- at 12 years old, I was crushing large pizzas. Hey, you know what I mean? In, we won't even go into that. She do that same shit too. Oh, I, at 12 years old, I was crushing a large pepperoni pie love, and fucking half love, a case of Mountain Dew. I love. Oh, I don't know about the soda, but I fuck with pizza enough that uh, eight slices, depending on the type of night, you know, is doable. <laughs> but I'm also fat, so you know. That's nah, the, that's nah. See, I'm not. I'm not even a pizza person like that. Give me, give me two and a half, three. I'll be good. That's because you want something else. <laughs> it's, it's. I just don't. I was never a fan of pizza, man. Like, if we go to the pizza place, I'm not getting pizza. I'm getting wings. Oh, so you yeah, you were always that way. Nah, I'm a, <laughs> you were chicken head. <laughs> chicken. Like I was. I was never. I don't. I don't know what it is, man. I was just never. I was never that type. You know, Jamel, if you don't. What, is going what are you going to say? I was going to say, if you don't use animal milk, what kind of milk do you put in your cereal? Oat milk is the is my favorite milk of all milks. You it, can it, milk an oat? Oat milk? Is, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's oat milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they do? immediately oat I heard oat milk. Milk. So I'm like, oat milk? Oat milk. No, not oat milk. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to train my body to eat that, but, you know. I'm well, what about the well, what about the almond milk? You don't use that. I'm allergic to uh, tree nuts and stuff. No like way, that, that sucks. Yeah. So almonds and them walnuts and pecans, you know, cashews. I throw them. You know, I built. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Unless it, unless it's peanuts, it's all overrated. I built a crazy immunity to cashews. It's gonna take yeah. a lot in order to make like me feel itchy, but I still do feel it. 
Roll so what? Me? Peanuts are not a tree nut. No, no. They come out of the ground. Uh, yeah, they come off of. It's like what they come off of. Uh, it looked like a seed. You know when okay. you break them out of the little peanut thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind. Of, it's it's like a seed, like a, a fruit. Like it comes. Gotcha. Out like and in all honesty, the Pretty same nice. for cashews. But what about hazelnuts? Um, like really, like hey, Nutella. Wheat, Nutella. <laughs> Uh, you don't really see Nutella in the hood like that. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I never, you don't I see never, Nutella you ain't see, you ain't see the Walmart <laughs> hazel spread? <laughs> You're not fucking with no spread or nothing. <laughs> the no-name <laughs> hazelnut spread? <laughs> You're not fucking with no nut spread at all. We not. He, said if it, he said if it's not at the bodega, I know nothing about it. <laughs> so, Shamel doesn't drink nut milk or use nut spread? No. <laughs> no, I had to be sure, but I'm. A, I, said no, I said no first, and just to, he had to make sure you know, he just set himself up. <laughs> All right, well, keep it keep it on the theme of the food. Have y'all tried the uh, the new Doritos 3D? You mean the retro just came back out? 3D? I didn't yeah, like them back then. But see, this is the thing. This is the thing. When they were the out one with the air pocket just, in it, yeah, yeah. But yeah. when they were out before, it was they were just regular like. You know, regular Doritos, regular Cool Ranch. Now it's like spicy ranch and like chili cheese. Nah, they don't have. Um, if I don't see a vegan flavor or you know, <laughs> vegan Yo, ingredient, first off, sh- the way I am with chips, sh- or uh, cereal. That sh- that's how Shamel is with chips. He's literally the chip monster. Shamel, I've seen him just randomly grab a bag of chips. And just eat a few, and he he can never just eat a few. If Shamel has a bag of chips in his hand, it's gone. I am doing a lot better now. Look, I'm going. I've been through rehab. <laughs> no. He had to he had to wipe his eyes on that, so he was. He, I'm, <laughs> he I'm triggered a, him with that. I'm a save man. Uh, I don't kill the bag. Is is no. I don't go as hard. <laughs> so you, I've you, seen Shamel just like we sit down. We're watching like. And a, but like this, a, an episode of something, and I look over, and he's that was induced. <laughs> that was induced. That wasn't just straight off the rip. Shabelle, just you like chi- you can eat chips like that, not induced. Nah, maybe not now, but a few years ago, all day. All right, all right. But it's funny <laughs> because he'll eat it, eat it all, and then he'll put the bag down, and he'll be like, "My fault." I'm like, damn. It's like be upset with himself that he did it. Like, he, he's so upset with yeah. himself. Like that's the one thing he did. He could not have self control for. Like, and I, you know, that's, he's he's got self control, but like chips, it, that's his kryptonite. You know, I'm telling you, and I, I try to tell us to Jenna, you can make a diet out of anything. I was I was heavy uh, my first year of high school, and then I played football. But majority of that summer. Going into the tenth grade and just like you know doing the two a day types, majority of my meals I may have had one meal, but most of my meal was Doritos and peanut butter and water. So chips is that's literally my that was my meal for majority of the day. But I did a lot with just chips. Yeah. So I can make that bit stretch now. If I didn't have nothing but chips, a life supply of chips, and if you know all other food was tainted. Yeah, fuck. I'll be good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, keeping on this theme of uh, food, uh, there's this place over here in Kingston. It's called, um, like, uh, Cuisine Bowl or Bowl Cuisine, some shit like that. <clears throat> but it's it's uh, half Chinese food, half hot pot. Y'all ever had hot pot or heard of hot pot? No. No. Lou, I know you would not like it. No. Shema, I think you would fuck with it. Aaron, I don't know. And so what hot what hot pot is, huh? No, Aaron likes he what he, there's always one place that, when Aaron talks about like a good food, it like it makes me hungry. Like that that one Chinese restaurant in the city you said you used to drive to just for their like wonton soup or uh It was the soup dumplings. The soup dumplings. Oh, you're talking about, soup dumplings. You're talking about Joe Shanghai. Yeah. Yes. Like every time he talks about that place, like my mouth, I start to salivate, and I'm like, I need to find this place. 
Like well, soup, soup dumplings are a whole nother level because they they put the soup in the dumplings. In the dumplings, fire. Yeah. So so what hot pot is? It's um, and I'm sure there's a way better place than here, but this is the only place here. Uh, what it is is you have a table that has a burner in it. And they give you a pot, a broth. It could be regular tomato, spicy. I always get spicy, <clears throat> and it's uh, like buffet style. So the the most expensive I've seen is like fifty bucks, but that also comes with like Korean barbecue as well. Uh, so so you look at their menu, right? And they'll have like your chicken, beef, um, pork, whatever, and the meat is cut very thin, like this thin. So when you put it in the broth, it literally takes twenty seconds to cook. Cooks quick. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, but they'll only have maybe like two, like three or four meats, and then the rest is just vegetables. That's why I said I think Chamel would fuck with this, and it's any vegetables you could think of from fuck it, <clears throat> from like cabbage and bok choy to onions, peppers, mushrooms, corn, uh, potatoes. You can put uh, eggs in the shed, whatever. It's just manga, and it's mainly like a family thing. Like you know, you don't really want to do hot pot by yourself. So, right. so it's different from uh, um, the crazy bowls up in. Yeah, yeah, crazy bowls, crazy bowls. That's like a, that's like a Mexican Asian fusion. Yeah, where they just like yeah. they're uh, what was it? Uh, chicken teriyaki quesadillas. Oh man, that used to be. Oh yeah, let me tell that you. Sounds man. really I good. Know, I know they just <laughs> opened up one in New Pulse. Oh, they did. But let me tell you, if, if people have never, oh yeah, if people have never had Crazy Bowls, man, that that shit is fire. Like everything on their fucking menu, they'll give you. They'll give, you can get fried chicken, right? And they'll give you like this, um, this like uh, sweet duck sauce with it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Crazy nipples get hard right now. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how good that shit is. Oh man. Yeah, I'm looking at this hot pot stuff now. Like, but yeah, like this is this is just like a it's like oh okay, it's here in Kingston. Like, if you want like an official hot pot where they have like the menu is like five fucking pages, it's just like you gotta go to the city. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I never heard of the hot pot uh, type thing. I'm, I'm telling you, I think I think you and your woman so like, like so like I the think meat, they, they like, the meat like they give it to you raw and you put it in the the hot pot. And it cooks it. And you it yeah, up. every everything comes to you raw. You cooking it all. I'm a child, bro. <laughs> You're gonna, yeah, yeah. No, that's, said, so what they give me, bro? <laughs> as I'm saying it, I'm like, <laughs> doesn't sound quite right. But I had to go with it. And then I'm looking at Chamel at the screen, and <laughs> he's just losing. It wasn't, it. You know, it wasn't plausible <laughs> per se. <laughs> That's what Wait, I mean, like, what did he say? What did like, he say that everything was wrong? It, but it all it all made sense to what he was saying. Oh no, it so, made sense, which is why I didn't say anything. <laughs> so I was like, so they they give me they like raw meat, bro, and then you, you take <laughs> the you take the meat over here like, like pause, man, pause. You making me feel uncomfortable. I, I said it in my head. In my head, you know, again, you gotta throw it out there. Just be like, no, no, you know, before before you set yourself up. So in my head, even though I was smiling, I didn't say anything. But I, in my head, I'm like, "Wait, is this plausible?" That's, a, that's when you yeah. know. That's when you know. Depending on who chamel has been hanging out with, he's always had to be on guard to make sure he said pause about something. Because we just over here talk about food, Shamel. There was no reason why you. He reminds me of like, like <laughs> in football when someone challenges him, like the ref when they they challenge a play, like. He's that guy. Like he was li- like I was. I was just talking and I wasn't even paying attention to it. But as I like, I started saying things and I kind of like look over at him and I just see some of his reactions. I'm like, oh, like what am I saying that he's he's sitting up and paying attention now, get ready to laugh. I thought he was gonna hit me with a pause. No, no, I didn't see. I didn't say right. it. So they give you the raw meat and you put it in a pot and it cooks it. Like it's good, flavorful. Yeah, flavorful. yeah. Okay, so so. um Depending on where you go, the the broth that they give you that they give you could be flavored. But what they have is a a dipping bar. So you go to there, they'll give you like a little a little bowl, and you make your own dip or your own whatever you want to call it to season either your your food or the broth. And it will be like 
uh, chives and like a whole bunch of fucking garlic and ginger and um, like uh, sesame oil and all all this shit that's for that you see in like Chinese food restaurants and yeah. everything else to make your own little dip. So, but yeah, it's 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 good here. I'm sure like in the city, it's ten times better. Gotta try that. I like that. You're getting more and more Where restaurants like coming local, like introducing new things. I like that. Yeah, and it's and it's it's cooked the way you like it. Like you ain't gotta worry about anyone fucking it up but you. So your your meat is always done the way you want it, so that when you put yeah. it in your mouth, it, it's either like tender or like, like yeah. And then the sauce, and then the sauce just like drip down here. Like that. I'm doing my show that, purpose now. <laughs> all that shit you did, all that shit you said just now. <laughs> you could have you could have took a whole nother route. You know. <laughs> You would see, and it was like you could have used different wording. Uh, it was like so when you get the meat, it's perfect for your mouth. But wait, I just want to clarify what you're saying, BJ, is that <laughs> it is up to the to you, the customer, how tender and juicy the meat in your mouth is. Correct. <laughs> I like that place. Y'all fucking up my Xbox controller. <laughs> <laughs> Why oh, my character won't move? Yo, oh man. man. I think this is a good. Shima, I you, you never play any video games, man. You just always on YouTube. Yo, I showed you on my screen before. Are you ever even on anymore? That's right. He's got like that one line there. Well, wait, what is that? I can't do nothing with that. The whole. Oh, so- is it broke? You need a new TV, bro. No, I do. I do. But, you no, know. I had a TV, man. I know, but you needed that money ASAP. Bills no. first. No. Bills first. I, I got money put aside for the TV. The TV's coming. I'm about to get the 70 or something. They got the cheap, so you gotta do the nice TV TVs at Walmart, man. I know. They got them perfect. What, BJ, you put that shit up? They were perfect price. For oh, the oh new yeah. Stimulus. When when everybody got 600 bucks, they put all of their, like, TVs on. Everything was, like, 535 Yeah. Yeah. I sold the deals, but it's not. <laughs> man, man. I'd rather just hold out. I'd rather hold out. Uh, so I've got to hold out for that 2000 stimulus package that's coming in like 15 It's supposed years. to be coming. You got to it got to hit. It got to hit. It, all I need if I had enough money to pay a bill and to get a TV at the same time, I would have did it. But just getting a TV and then having to wait next week for a bill, that is uh unadult like of me. And we all know adult life is fucking trash. Terrible. So that Terrible. is with that comes a hard decision of going with a black streak on your TV and, uh, you know, not being able to read the full titles of Netflix movies because you can't read it all. <laughs> what about me, man? My Xbox is gone. It's it's done. If it's Aaron didn't have movies. a backup PlayStation or, you like, a PlayStation, PlayStation 4 as a backup, you would if I, you'd be If I was able to just go downstairs and get a whole other TV set, I wouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, I mean... You got the play the PlayStation. The fact that it has certain exclusives that I would like to play, like Ghost of Tsushima and shit like that, which I have because it's on P- PlayStation. Your yeah, Xbox, you're not really missing much out on. I am that. missing much, man. I missed half the first season of Call of Duty. Wait, so yeah. so yeah, and now the second season's it? gonna hit, and I got no Xbox. Wait, time out. When did you buy that thing? Oh God, over a year ago. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm about yeah to let's, say, hold on. let's uh let's end the episode <laughs> so then BJ can edit it and then we can keep going. Um great episode. This is good stuff. Let's do it again next week. With it. With it. <laughs>